Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi here, and in this video, I want to briefly describe what exactly is Lightroom. Um, and I think the best way to do that is to describe Lightroom as a combination between Adobe Bridge and Adobe Photoshop. Um, if you haven't used Bridge before, what it basically is is uh, Adobe software that we use to organize and manage all the assets that we're using in our projects. Um, in Bridge, we can do things like sort and filter and keyword items, um, as well as preview and look at file information so that we can take our assets and quickly bring them into the projects and software that we need to create our product. Um, in Photoshop, we have basically the most advanced Im image editor available right now. Um, so in Lightroom, we kind of have a combination of these two, where we have the best of Bridge's organizational abilities, um, along with a stripped down version of Photoshop. And what it really is, is actually a souped up version of Photoshop Camera Raw. And with these two put together, we have an editor that allows us to quickly navigate, organize, as well as produce our photos. So let me briefly show you guys the similarities between these three pieces of software, and you can kind of see how Lightroom was formed. Um, I'm going to go into Bridge first, and what you see in Bridge basically is on the left side we have our navigation pane where we can kind of we select the folder that we want to view, and on the right side, or actually in the middle, we see our content window. Um, inside the content window, we see whatever folder is selected. So if I select my computer, we're going to see all the drives that are attached to my computer, which is a ton right now, by the way. Um, I'm going to go back, and what we're in is Paul and Sheila's engagement folder, and in the originals, so we're seeing all the original RAW files. Um, so here we can see kind of the thumbnails, be able to quickly glance through, see a preview. Um, over here, I can see my filters. Um, I can set ratings to these, or I can filter it based on all this different metadata. Um, I can also create collections of images, um, as well as export. What we have on the right side is the metadata. So I can see, I can select basically any image, see how it was shot, see whatever important information that I'm looking for. And also on the right side we have our keywords, where we can kind of categorize and organize our, our images. So now let me pull up Lightroom and just kind of show you how similar the library module is to this. Now in the library module we have our folders on the left, which is going to show you whatever folders were imported into this catalog. Um, we also have the ability to have collections. Our main window, again, shows our thumbnail images. On this left side, we have kind of a preview. It, it's not really a preview. It's more like just our navigation uh, window. And what we use for that is we use it to click in and kind of see, oh, I can zoom in and see, hey, he's blinking in this image. I don't want to keep it. Um, I'm going to switch back to this view. Um, on the bottom side, I have my film strip. I also have the ability to rate. So I can set a star rating, I can set flag ratings, I can set color ratings. Um, and in addition, I can also see on the right side I have my metadata. So this shows me all my metadata information that I want from this these files. And I also have my keywords. So there are a few extra things that, of course, that are built into Lightroom, but you can see the similarity between Bridge and Lightroom um, as far as the organizational side goes. Now let me show you guys a little bit into Photoshop Camera Raw. I have this image pulled up in Camera Raw, and what we have here is, is our basic adjustment settings on the right side. Um, if I click to this next one, I can see my tone curve. I can go on to detail and do sharpening and noise reduction. I can go on to my hue, saturation, and luminance. I've got split toning. I've got just a, a bunch of different kind of basic editing options that I can use to, to correct this image as I'm pulling it into Photoshop. Um, real briefly, I have also lens corrections, effects, camera calibration, any presets that I want to apply, and snapshots. Now check this out. If I go back into Lightroom and I go to my develop module, this is basically the enhanced version of Photoshop RAW. And look at how similar this is. I've got my basic panel, tone curve, hue saturation luminance, split toning, detail, lens corrections, effects, and camera calibration a very similar working set that I have in in Photoshop RAW. But I also have some extra little goodies, and that's why I call this kind of a, a souped up version of Photoshop. So in the Lightroom library module, I can do all of my file management, organization, sorting, filtering, everything that I need to manage my photos. Uh, while I can also quickly switch over to develop and have basically a souped up version of Adobe Camera RAW at my fingertips without having to open any other applications. So hopefully this gives you guys a, a better idea as to what is Lightroom and how it works exactly.